McConnell Dahl is a world-class multidiscipline engineering construction company with more than 5,000 staff globally. Formed in 1960, it was started and sustained on entrepreneurial spirit. We operate throughout many regions across the globe, in Australia, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, Southeast Asia and the Middle East. Drawing upon almost 50 years of experience, our clients can depend on our proven expertise to deliver innovative solutions to meet their construction needs. We offer our clients a one-stop value-added service in the civil and marine, electrical and instrumentation, mechanical, tunneling and underground, and pipelines disciplines. Our combined service offerings mean our clients get an integrated solution that's always top quality. On time, within budget and without environmental harm. Creative construction is all about finding creative solutions to meet challenging terrains, complex technical requirements and that minimizes environmental impact. Our success is no secret. It rests on the fact that McConnell Dahl utilizes a modern fleet of equipment with purpose-built facilities and machinery and a team of professional experts and skilled staff who constantly strive to deliver the best possible results for our clients. Sentosa, located in sunny Singapore, is Asia's leading leisure destination and island playground getaway. Excitement has been building up in Sentosa for months now, as it gears up to welcome the much-anticipated Resort World, a new multi-billion dollar mega resort spanning 49 hectares. When Resort World needs to ensure that hundreds and thousands of visitors can get in and out of Sentosa to its attractions without a hitch, they look to a construction company with a proven track record to get the job done. That company is McConnell Dow. After the successful completion of the Sentosa Seawall Construction and Reclamation Project in Sentosa Island, McConnell Dow took on the challenge from a resort's world once again. This time it's to design and construct the new Sentosa Crossing in February 2008. This project involved the construction of a new bridge, widening of the existing causeway, a pedestrian underpass, and the relocation of two monorail piers. To add to the challenge, the new bridge alone, which costs more than 80 million Singapore dollars to build, has to be constructed without disrupting access to and from Sentosa, accommodate changing tides, and building over water. With the integrated resort opening in early 2010, it was critical that the causeway and bridge be constructed within the 18-month contract period. With construction of the original bridge taking three years to complete, the 18-month timeframe given to McConnell Dow would test their construction expertise. The McConnell Dow solution was to make use of precast as much as possible to speed up construction time. Building structures in precast has three key advantages. It reduces construction time, cuts down on the number of manpower needed on site, and allows for absolute control over the quality of work. This is the story of how the Cornell Dow rose to the challenge and redefined the construction of Sentosa's gateway. It's creative construction at its best. The initial site survey of Sentosa's existing causeway outlined clearly what the team at McConnell Dow was in for. The original 260-metre causeway, which was opened in 1991, was built by reclamation between caissons. It was clear that the same construction approach could not be used to widen the causeway. Furthermore, reclaiming an additional area was not preferred by the client. This, combined with other site constraints, like limited working boundaries, varying tide and a monorail running over the working area meant that the engineers had to come up with an innovative solution. The solution was to build a concrete deck cantilever from the existing causeway 
supported on 27 steel piles. A steel caisson is first cored through the rock bund. This was achieved by one of the biggest drilling rigs available in Singapore, working from the Makdal crane barge. As drilling progressed further through the bund, rocks inside the casing had to be removed by the same rig. Once the casing had reached the original seabed, the steel tubular piles had to be driven into the seabed. After which, the steel casing was extracted. It's no easy task, and Colonel Dahl has the right expertise to engineer an innovative solution. Finally, a grid of precast concrete beams was placed on the piles. Some of these beams were designed in the shape of the planter troughs and placed in a longitudinal direction. Once the main structures were constructed, the focus shifted to building the roads and adding the finishing touches. As the causeway is one of Sentosa's most iconic structures, McCornell Dow artfully installed elegantly designed lampposts and handrail. Finally, lush greenery and landscaping were planted to complete the picturesque scene. The team then turned their attention to the new bridge. A similar construction solution was applied to construct the bridge structure. Precast was the main process used in order to meet the project's tight deadlines. The first step was to bring in the clamshell dredger. These were mobilized to remove the rocks on the seabed at the designated pile locations. Once the seabed was cleared from the rocks, pile driving commenced on the 1st of July 2008. Steel tubular piles, each with a diameter of 1,600 millimetres, were driven 10 to 15 metres into the seabed until the toe of the steel pile reached the hard sandstone layers. Soil drilling rigs with drill bits slightly smaller in diameter than the pile had to core another 15 metres below the pile toe into the hard layers. This process is known as socketing of the piles. The socket and the steel pile are then cleared out, after which a heavy reinforcement cage is installed in the pile before the socket and pile are filled up with concrete. Once the piles are in place and cut off to the right levels, temporary support brackets for the pile cap were welded to the steel pile. The welding of these brackets was critical as they will carry the load of the 180-ton precast pile cap, plus the in-situ concrete poured to fill the precast shell. These pile caps, 18 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 5 meters high, were built at the McConnell Dalles Yard in Batam. These structures are carefully designed to keep the weight within the capacity of the heavy lift crane barge. At the same time, they are also reduced in the in-situ concrete forework and rebar installation at site. Placing these massive structures on site was done by heavy lift crane barge with lifting capacity of 300 metric tons. The most challenging aspect of the bridge's construction though was the placing of the pier and utility bridge and segments at Brani. With strong currents in the area and limited access for marine equipment at the Brani abutment, the tasks would only be done at high tide, in combination when there's a slack current, to prevent the barge from drifting against the caissons of Brani port.